let's talk about Lost Stars. This awesome little book that uh, I didn't really know anything about until it was uh, talked about on AMC Movie Talk and Jedi Council. Um, they were really raving about it. So I was getting ready to go on vacation and I had um, a lot of driving to do. And if anybody knows me, I don't read a whole lot of books. I just can't sit down and force myself to do it. If I do read something, it's an audio book. Um, and that's even pretty rare, I mean, for me to do. So, downloaded this audio book, because I'm really hyped about the Star Wars movie, of course. And it is amazing. <laughs> Let's just put it that way. It starts off... Um, on a, a, a planet, I think it's called uh, Jellocon, which is a pretty funny name, but uh, it's an outer rim planet, and the Empire is uh, landing, and everybody's celebrating. And there's these two children, uh, Sienna and Thane, who are from two different, you know, cultures, uh, kind of like Romeo and Juliet. One's uh, poor and more tribal, uh, Sienna, the girl. And uh, one has a lot of money, but has some father issues, and that's the thing. Um, anyways, they uh, meet up, and they become friends, and they love flying. Uh, they have kind of a little a a cave area where they, uh, it's like a fort, I guess, that they hang out a lot and talk about things. And then they decide they want to join the um, Imperial Academy and become uh, fighter pilots. And so it jumps time a lot, this book does. So we jump into them uh, being in the academy and uh, training, and there's a certain scene in the uh, uh, book during the academy where already Thane is questioning the Empire, the empire and their tactics. Uh, Sienna is more loyal and uh, takes her oath to the Empire very seriously. So anyways, we jump around. Uh, one of the great things about this book is it, 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 it goes, um, the plot points are intertwined with the original trilogy of movies. So a lot of the things that happen in the movies, you see them in this book from different perspectives. And that's, it's awesome how they do it. And so anyways, the Thane eventually um, leaves the Empire. Uh, you know, I'm jumping a lot here, but eventually leaves the Empire and um, later on joins the rebellion. Sienna, on the other hand, never leaves the Empire. <laughs> it's ridiculous. And her character does get kind of annoying at some point in time. But the romance between the two is done really well. It's very believable. And um, it takes you through all three movies and then ends... Uh, the last few chapters are, happened actually after the end of Return of the Jedi, so you get to see a little glimpse of what happens after Vader and the Emperor fall, what happens to the Empire, you know, some people think they just died off immediately after the battle in Return of the Jedi, but, you know, they stick around for a little bit, and you find out what happens with the New Republic, you find out in that first trailer uh, of Jakku, you find out what happens there. There's a big battle. Um, you find out that ship that's crashed, how that all happens. Uh, and those were the best parts to me, the end, and then how it's interconnected with the original trilogy. Um, overall, though, this book is really... I couldn't... I mean, I was hooked from the beginning. You know, listened to it the entire car trip. And... Uh, Really, really enjoyed the book. I hope we get a sequel. Claudia Gray was the author, and she was interviewed on Jedi Council, and hopefully we get a sequel, or even if we have to wait a while, and maybe we get a sequel, you know, ten years down the road with how, uh, you know, with a completely different pair of people or something. It's still a very good read. Uh, for any Star Wars fan, I'm going to give it a four and a half out of five. I don't usually review books. I mean, the only books I really loved is probably The Hunger Games, uh, Lord of the Rings, 
you know, I just, I don't get into books very much, so for me to be this hyped about this book, it's a good sign for people who actually do read that this is a good book. Anyways, four, four and a half out of five, and peace out.